<laughs> Hello one and all, this is Soulful Lordy, James Bullock, once again with another video game first impressions. This time around, Dangerous Driving for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. Three Fields Entertainment, featuring some of the minds behind the original Burnout offerings dating back to the PS2 era, some of my favorite arcade style racing games of all time has produced a spiritual successor with Dangerous Driving. Now, for those who've never played a Burnout game, one of the main things when it comes to racing in Burnout games is the fact of how much speed is connected to everything that happens with the, most importantly, nitro meter that is filled up as you perform stunts, takedowns of other cars and opponents, and of course, going through oncoming traffic. You hit that nitro button and you will shoot down whatever track you're a part of, whatever road you're on, and hopefully not crash into incoming traffic. Dangerous Driving offers a bunch of modes, including the simplistic race mode. You have road rage mode, which is specifically made for taking down opponents. You have pursuit, which is one of the highlights of the entire game to me. Road Rage, you can simply ram an opponent into a guardrail and take them down or into some other type of traffic. Whereas in Pursuit Mode, each opponent have these bars that must be depleted with each knock. So each time you hit a car, it will deplete the bar by one segment until they empty that bar out and then they finally crash in spectacular fashion. It's a great implementation, a great change, and a great way to mix things up if you just want to simply take down opponents but don't want to do it so hastily. There are multiple styles of vehicles that can be unlocked, be it SUVs, sedans, coupes, and of course Formula One racers, but you have to complete pretty much everything by at least bronze level per section to unlock the next section. So you will definitely have a grind to complete all six categories if you feel like you want to fully experience dangerous driving. For as fun as dangerous driving is, there are definitely some major flaws. One especially connected to longtime burnout fans. The average race, be it takedowns or just a regular race and dangerous driving will feature the AI being ridiculously fast. One mode called face off where you're simply racing a single opponent We'll see at the start of the race, that car just shoot off into the distance without nitro. Because of course the race just started so there's no way they can have nitro. The rubber band technique that has been seen in older games, including the old Burnout games, is in full effect here. The AI is just ridiculously fast, it will catch up to you incredibly fast, especially if you crash no matter how far ahead of them you are. Technical issues can pop up, specifically pop-ups, that will ruin a perfectly good game. I've had moments where a car will mysteriously appear and I will run into them before I can even correct myself, which of course causes a crash, which of course could put me in last place because of this rubber band technique that is so effective for the AI. Frame rate drops and even my car magically floating just because I was driving too fast near a guardrail can happen in dangerous driving. Longtime Burnout fans may also notice the fact that I have said nothing about crash mode. Crash mode in the older Burnout games was a mode where you could take a car through a crafted environment running into as many vehicles as possible to create as much damage as possible. Unfortunately. Dangerous Driving does not have Crash Mode specifically connected to it, but it does have a sister or a companion piece with Danger Zone 2. Now, Danger Zone 2 is available for purchase by itself, but if you get the disc version of Dangerous Driving, it comes along with Danger Zone 2. Also, when it comes to music, which was a big part of the Burnout franchise, even with Burnout Paradise that was recently remastered, you will not be able to experience any type of music unless you have a Spotify premium account that you can attach to this game, which is unfortunate because, as I said, the Burnout franchise and music definitely go hand in hand. 
but if there's one noticeable ingredient missing to make this really a fun experience is the lack of multiplayer not just online but locally as well the fact of the matter is at this time and potentially until we know and actually see it there is no multiplayer there is no way to play with friends so if you don't enjoy simply just unlocking various options and modes you want to road rage with people online or road rage with a friend at home which takes away a lot of the luster from this game that the older burnout games had overall if you are a fan of the old school burnout games from the ps2 era this is the game for you but only if you get it on disc because then you can have danger zone 2 and you can have this generation's version of crash mode from the burnout series by itself not the best purchase in the world even if you've enjoyed the older burnout games if you don't want to pay the extra ten dollars to get danger zone 2 alongside dangerous driving but if you do i think you're in for a very good treat that isn't going to break the bank so there you have it this has been so old for lordy james bullock once again with another video game first impressions dangerous driving for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. Now, if you don't mind, I have a guy hot on my tail. I'm trying to get away as fast as possible before I crash, and I have no choice but to shout, Oh, Lordy!